What's up, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning back into Scorpio TV. Thriller Teller, the queen of horror. She needs no introduction. Y'all already know who she is. My sleep paralysis demon was trying to tell me something. Animated horror story. That's a long ass title. Uploaded, well, February 4th, 2022. Like I said, needs no introduction. Y'all know who she is thumbnail was creepy as hell i'm pretty sure this is going to be good as hell so without further ado let's get into this hi everyone it's me thriller teller back again with another horror story but before we watch today's story let's hear a word from our sponsors does this ever happen to you you grab your snack and click on a video and then then you need nordvpn NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there, with over 5,000 servers in 60 different countries, allowing a wide range of selection of connection locations. So no matter what you want to stream, NordVPN has you covered. There is no need to worry about bandwidth throttling. All the traffic is encrypted so your internet provider can't slow down your streaming speed. In addition, NordVPN is secure and very easy to use. You can use a one-click option or enable an auto-connect for zero-click protection, NordVPN allows you to easily change your virtual location to address concerns created by geo-restricted streaming services and games. It also has an automatic kill switch built into it. So if your VPN connection is suddenly lost, your device is protected from accessing the internet. NordVPN can be easily accessed from anywhere, whether at home or traveling around the world, and is available on every major platform. So try NordVPN today. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash thriller teller to get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. Again, it's nordvpn.com forward slash thriller teller or use code thriller teller at checkout. It's risk free with NordVPN's 30 day money back guarantee. I believe a timestamp comment section so y'all can just skip right to the reaction. Oh, hell no. Why is there whispering, bro? Uh, okay. I... Already. Now, I know what you're thinking, that I don't really have sleep paralysis, but that I'm simply being haunted by her ghost. I wish it was as simple as that. The truth is, this thing has been haunting me ever since I was a child. My therapist says that it was the unresolved trauma from losing my mother at a young age that first started my sleep paralysis. Mother's death broke my father, and he became just a shell of himself. We had no extended family, and I was left to deal with my issues all by myself. Being so young, I had no idea what was happening to me, and my dad was in no position to help, only looking at me with disgust every time I would tell him about the little girl in my bedroom. He thought I was just asking for attention, but I was genuinely scared out of my mind most nights. So I just learned to shut up about all this. If I had known what was happening to me, I would have also known how to deal with this stuff. So simple things like breathing deeply, calming yourself down, had to be learned by me through trial and error over the years. You cannot imagine the sense of relief I felt when I discovered what sleep paralysis was. It became a lot easier after that, knowing that it was just a condition and not a monster. I learned to deal with it. Time passed. I grew up. My nightmares became less and less frequent. I fell in love, got married, and had a beautiful little daughter, despite my many psychological issues. Having the love of my life next to me every night pretty much cured me of the sleep paralysis. Although, I still had some attacks every now and then. But then my daughter grew up, and my life turned to hell 
as her face became more and more familiar. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. What the fuck? I know, I, I know. I told y'all I would try so hard to calm down on the F word. But this woman, Thriller Teller, bro, like the way she puts a video together is different. It hit different, no cap. This is why she's the queen of horror, in my opinion. So, the scary ass transition, especially being this damn close to the camera, was bad enough, right? You also had to add the damn scary ass, loud ass effect as soon as you throw the scary picture up there? Come on, bro. Thriller Teller, you may never see any of my reactions, but if you ever do, just know. We we rocks with you tough over here on Scorpio TV. Me and I'm pretty sure all of my fans, we rock with you heavy. You're very underrated. Keep doing what you're doing, sis, because you you definitely scaring the shit out of people, namely me. And we're only we're not even halfway through the video. We're at four minutes and thirty one seconds. There's like. Five minutes and 29 seconds left of this torment because this video is 10 minutes long. <sighs> I know she does her outro, so maybe it's just about good four and a half, five minutes of the actual video left before the outro starts. But Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I had to pause it. That shit scared the hell out of me. My therapist said that it was just my old issues rearing their ugly heads and that I was projecting my daughter's face onto my nightmares. But I know better. Oh my god, bro. You've outdone yourself with this one. My trust in my therapist nosedived, and so did all the progress I had made. My reaction to this development was the absolute worst. I started pulling away from my daughter. It's a horrible thing for a father to admit. But being near to that face was turning into a debilitating experience. fights with my wife. She couldn't understand why I was pulling away like that, not showing up for recitals, spending less and less time with her, and slowly turning into a workaholic. It all came to a head when I missed her 10th birthday to go on a work trip that I didn't really need to go on. My daughter was crying harder than ever before, and my wife was absolutely furious. The fight we had that day was the worst of our married life. For a second there, I thought this was it, that this would be what kills our marriage. But I managed to convince her that I'll try harder after returning and to give me just one more chance. I still remember that night. It is burned into my memory, every second of it. Tell her you've outdone yourself. This is some of your best work. Whoa, my God.
Oh, she got her. <gasps> A phone call in the morning destroyed my life. While I was dealing with my sleep paralysis, some piece of garbage had broken into my home. He shot my wife, then violated my daughter before slitting her throat. Damn! Oh, he wasn't All I was left with was pain and regret. If I hadn't gone away that night, if I had just stayed home, I could have protected them. The guilt I felt was so crushing. My daughter was calling for me that night, and I failed her. I let my weakness get the better of me, and lost everything that was dear to me. My nightmares have gotten worse. Every night she stands there, looking at me, wondering why I didn't protect her. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm coming to you. Jump now, scared. before I end it all, Jump scared. I just want to leave you with this message. If it looks like your sleep paralysis demon is trying to tell you something, See? pay attention. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed this story. This story is written by Bikram Man. Link to his book Unclean Spirits on Amazon is in the description. I would really encourage you guys to go check it out. So I'll see you guys soon with another creepy story. Until then, bye. bye. No homo. I, I want that to be suspect how I just did that. But after hearing it so many times at the end of her videos, it just... Just like I do with Slap Tam. Sometime I say his intro and his outro with him because I've watched so many of his videos that get stuck in my head. Bro, no cap. Thriller Teller, I legit think this is some of your best work. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way because you have a lot of dope ass content I know you've been doing this for a while now, but just in terms of the ambiance, the sound effects, the the creature, the little girl, the whatever you want to call it, the thing itself, all of it combined, bro, this legit scared the hell out of me. You know it's scary when I gotta drop the F-bomb. I've been doing good, not saying it. You know, I've been trying to like get away from the F-bomb, but videos like this, bro, you, I, I couldn't help it. That shit scared the hell out of me. But to lose everything you love like that. Your wife got shot and she said, well, the guy, his daughter got violated and then her throat was slit. I'm pretty sure that means she got raped and then she got killed afterwards. Bro, I, oh man, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. Like to have everything you love taken from you in one night in a short amount of time like that. If that doesn't teach you anything, no cap. This is a life lesson. Enjoy the people you have in your life now because they could be gone the next minute. That's what I'm taking away from that shit. Maybe there's other lessons to it, but such as you can't let fears overtake you. And title says, my sleep paralysis demon was trying to tell me something. It was bothering him, basically foreshadowing that something was going to happen that night. And ever since then, he sees this little girl ghost or this, this sleep paralysis demon in a corner of his room, 
basically that is like a caricature of his daughter basically saying why didn't you help us why didn't you help me yeah do that little little 10 year old got raped and then killed afterwards I, as a father i i don't have children but if i was a father and that happened to my daughter I'm not the toughest guy in the world, never claimed to be, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I hope, I hope the police find you before I find you. It's bad enough you fuck with my wife. He shot his wife. I'm assuming he shot her. I'm assuming the, the intruder shot her dead. But then you raped and killed my daughter, bro. If the police do not find you, I will find you. And if I find you before the police find you, they're gonna come to find me because they won't be able to find you no more. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. That, I couldn't imagine that shit. I couldn't imagine, like I couldn't imagine me losing any of my loved ones in such a horrible manner, especially ones that I'm like super close to. I would lose my mind, bro. I'd, I'd do some shit I would regret go to jail for a long time and destroy my whole law enforcement career but like you said like, pieces of garbage like that you gotta put them down like a dog like I said throw tell it this is some of your best work in my opinion you've like I said you've had a lot of dope ass content I'm not trying to take away from any of that but all the components that are put together in this video like the backstory the sound effects the, the sleep paralysis, the demon itself, like the ambiance, the setting, everything was like top notch. You are very underrated. Like I said, we rocked with you heavy over here at Scorpio TV. Never have to, you know, never have to think that we don't, cause trust me, we do. Queen of Horror. Love the video. It was a little dark and depressing, but still loved it. What did y'all think of it? Let me know all that down in the comment section. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope you drop a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure the bell icon is tapped. I want you all to stay safe, stay blessed, stay humble, and I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.